So welcome back to our post lunch session and our first session in the support from a recruitment perspective is Dominic. Again, Dominic, over to you to introduce yourself and your session. Thank you, Claire. Uh, hi, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I hope you all had a very leisurely lunch as I did. Um, my name is Dominic. I'm the Human Resources and Learning and Development Manager for Costco in the UK and Iceland, but that's an entirely different presentation. Um, so I want to thank Elliot for inviting me to present today. Uh, I was taken aback this morning and rather nervous with all these mentions of 50 year old males. But then <laughs> I thought to myself, well, I'm fine because I'm in my 60s now, so it doesn't apply to me. Um, but looking across this morning, personal success stories, and really powerful presentations and self-development, I suppose if we take a step back, at some point, somebody recruited us at some point in our career path. And we've got to look at how we select people and how we advance those people and the importance of recruiting in a sensible, fair and even manner. So this is Costco's take on recruitment, how we hire for success. Uh, and by doing that, we ensure that we engage with our employees and through recognition, we progress our employees through our business. So Jeff Brockman, who's co-founder of the business has a simple mantra for it. If you hire good people, give them good jobs, good things will happen. And for the last 40 years, our business has proven this. Over uh, the 40 years, we've developed code of ethics uh, for Costco, and it's pretty straightforward as everything with our business is. We obey the law, we take care of our members, we take care of our employees, we respect our suppliers. And if we do those four things in that order, we're successful and able to reward our shareholders. So in short, engagement creates the feeling of being part of something. And we can only engage by recruiting the right person. There is a temptation, and again, referring to this morning and to media and everything that's going on with recruitment and shorty labor shortages and everything else. If you get the right person, you don't have to constantly replace them because you can grow them in your business. So the right person, it's the right person for our business, for our members, and most importantly, for themselves. We've got to tick those boxes before that person becomes engaged in our business. How do we do that? We strive to give our employees the right environment to grow, to give them the right training to advance, to pay them and compensate them fairly, uh, to give them the right programs to support their career development. And having done all of that, that we give them opportunities to grow within the business. So I thought to myself before I was putting this presentation together, well, when does engagement start? with people. It really does start before we actually hire anybody. Uh, we sell a dream, Costco. We sell an ideal, a great place to work, a career. Many of our employees started as members of our business or relatives of members of our business. But we add more to that. We give great pay to our employees. We give a comprehensive benefits program to our employees. All of Costco employees are permanent employees. We don't do casual. We don't do zero hour contracts. We offer our employees somewhere where they can grow as a person and within a career. Part time in Costco means a guaranteed minimum 24 hours a week. And with that, and with the way that our business grows, we give career opportunities. So great pay. When you start as assistant within Costco, you start at 9.75 an hour, and then every six months or so, you get a pay rise, not based on performance, based on service, until you end up after about five years service at 13.35 an hour. And when you've been on that 13.35 an hour for a year, every year thereafter, you'll get a 4,000 pound annual bonus not predicated on performance or anything else other than your service. But to achieve all of this, we need a professional, consistent, structured selection process. Many businesses traditionally 
will get a candidate in and say, well, um, how would you deal with a difficult customer? Now, the problem with a question like that, and it's a very good question for a customer-based organization, the problem is that I can learn to answer that. Because I will say, well, I would do this, and I would do that, and I would do the other, and I will tell you exactly what you want to hear. But you will learn nothing about me except that I am a parrot, potentially. So in Costco, we asked behavior-based questions, non-hypotheticals. So we'll say, well, tell me about a time when you dealt with a difficult customer. And we insist that the candidate answer that. Well, I would, no, no, tell me about a time you actually dealt with someone. What happened? What did they look like? Why were they upset? Why were they difficult? How did you engage with them? How did you resolve it? So we're not interested in what you would do. Ask me a question, I'll tell you a lie. We're interested in what you actually did. Because if you did it before, the chances are you'll do it again. So in the business, when we recruit introductory interview, all we're interested in are seven key behaviors of that candidate. That's what we focus on. Seven behaviors that we believe will help you progress and settle in our business. The final interview and thereafter, if you're recruited, it's all about skill sets. What do you bring to the party? But if I'm a forklift truck driver and have won awards for my forklift driving skills, but I'm a psychopath, I'm always going to be a psychopath. So I'd rather hire someone who doesn't have the skill, but I can train them to be an excellent forklift truck driver. Makes my life easier in the long term. And that's how we build successful employees. So what are these behaviors? Before we go through them, these behaviors will follow that employee throughout their career. Every performance review, every appraisal they have, they will be appraised on these seven behaviors. So if I recruit someone who is missing one or more of these behaviors, they are going to struggle in our environment because every time we sit down with them on their performance, that will be lacking. So the behaviors, member service, essential in Costco. Quantity and quality of work. We're a lean business. Productivity is core for us. Communication, the ability to communicate at a basic level, to follow basic instruction, to be working as part of a team, to have initiative. We're a very flat structure organization and we expect our employees to work on their own account, not to be waiting for instruction after instruction. And finally, personal credibility, your honesty, your ability to respect our members and us as employers and flexibility because we trade and operate from five in the morning through till 10 at night, seven days a week, 363 days a year. We need employees who can be flexible. Once we've done that and recruited and identified that person, we engage with them on the first day in a orientation. And this is standard throughout our business globally. So the philosophy behind this is, look, if I feel welcomed through the selection process and I get through my first day and I feel safe in that environment, I become engaged. Then I'm going to start to commit to Costco and eventually I'm going to feel as though I belong here. Three months probationary period. And then if you get through your probation, we celebrate that success. We welcome you as permanent employees of our teams. We value your service. Our culture is built around teaching. Uh, Jim Sinegal, our other co-founder, his mantra was teach, teach, teach. 80 to 90% of your job is teaching people. And this is our virtuous cycle for employee engagement. If you engage with your people, that inevitably will drive more engagement with your people. And if you do that, you will get better member service. And then you'll get recognition as an employee, which again drives engagement, so on and so forth. But let's look at the risks. It's great to have engaged employees, but there are others. Engaged employees, they work with passion and care about our brand. They're highly motivated, ready to go the extra mile, and so on and so forth. 
but I can have unengaged employees if I don't follow our process. Who will sleepwalk through a day, fly under the radar, low energy and passion. They will be there in body, but not in spirit. Prone to making more mistakes. And worst of all, become actively disengaged. Prisoners complain constantly. Bad member service destroy our brand. Demoralize their colleagues. Drain on management time. It does not make sense to employ people who are going to end up in this category because you're managing the wrong people and they will sap the life out of you. So engagement drivers, just to go a little further on this, we believe there are six drivers that we have to consider as managers, as leaders to engage with our employees. And I will leave that slide in the presentation for you to digest at your leisure. Uh, but if we look, we have work, people, opportunities, the total reward package, not just pay, but benefits and longevity of employment and permanent status. Our company practices, our culture, our ethics, and the recognition that there has to be respect for work-life balance. And just because my work-life balance looks like this, it doesn't mean it's going to work for everybody else. Great managers, supportive work environment. If you have that, you then get your engaged employees. You get better individual performance and you improve your company's performance overall. And you get people who are ready to progress. Which brings us to recognition. It, uh, behaviors and performance that support organizational strategy. And for us, that starts at the final interview when you, we say you are going to become a Costco employee. We recognize that you have potential. We recognize our employees through the orientation, through their 90 days, and annually or further through their appraisals. But more importantly, it's the reaction. When you have somebody that you're saying you are awesome and you're a great part of our team, it's genuine reaction of delight. And sometimes in business, the squeaky wheel doesn't always get the grease. Sometimes we just rip it out of the machine and replace it. That is costly. And in our business, for one, it's a cost that we can't tolerate. It is far, far better to get the right person in the first case and take care of them. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Isn't that the truth? And it's our job as leaders, as employers, to turn to our employees and say, you are nearly there, keep going, to support our employees. So the proof of the pudding. In Costco, I've been with Costco now for just over 20 years. I've been in this industry for 40 years. Uh, it was around 10% senior management positions were female 20 years ago. We're now up to 36% and growing. These are people who have started a uh, majority as early employees. Our new country manager, Peter Kelly, started 30 years ago pushing trolleys in the car park in, in Costco, Glasgow. He is now the country manager of our business. Uh, our warehouse managers, four female warehouse managers, uh, three female directors, four female directors within our business, beg your pardon. Uh, and we are showing the fruits of our labor and our focus on advancing the person and the skill. 98% of our senior management team are internally developed. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. And this is something that we're really proud of. But more than that, it makes business sense. Our senior leadership team are people who have been there, done it. They started as hourly employees. They've worked in most areas of the business. They're never asking anyone to do something they haven't done themselves. And it grows our culture. Being a manager at Costco involves uh, treating our employees in a fair, courteous and respectful manner to build our culture. Thank you. If you have any questions, that'd be great.